Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. My name is Basil and this video is all about Android Marshmallow rolling out on Android Wear devices around the world as I speak. I'm going to explain what you can expect in the update, but before I do, quickly, if you're not already subscribed to BTEC on YouTube, consider it. It helps us out massively and means we can grow some. In addition to that, all our wearable videos are done in conjunction with wearable.com. That's wearable spelt W-A-R-E. Ubble. Now that's an awesome website that focuses on wearable tech in a lot more detail than we do. We help them out with videos but you should definitely check out their site if you want to know more about the wearable tech that we talk about. Right, on to Android Wear Marshmallow. It downloaded onto our Moto 360 second generation and brings with it a few key updates including gesture support, improved voice control really and better battery life. Starting with the gesture support, um, in past iterations you could kind of flick up and down to scroll through cards and that was simple enough but now it takes it to the next level you can scroll up and down through cards but you can also dip into cards by kind of like depressing your wrist and then you can dip out of cards I, that looks really weird and I haven't mastered being able to do it without looking like a complete and utter muppet I'm not gonna lie so I haven't really used that in public comfortably but the one that I have used the final edition in public without even thinking about it which means it's instantly intuitive on day one of getting the update is a 180 degree twist actually switches everything back to the home and it's kind of akin to putting your hand over the screen which is great because these things light up all the freaking time. So that's gestures, hits and misses. Next up is voice control. You can actually send things like WhatsApp messages with your voice now which is amazing. Um, so you can send I think Gmail messages, WhatsApp messages and a few others. You want to check the app support but it means you don't have to be diverted to your phone. If you're in an environment you can actually talk to your smartwatch which is cool. Speaking of voice support, you can actually also receive voice calls on your Android Wear watch. Huzzah, finally. But there is a caveat here. This only works with Android Wear devices that have speakers. So the Huawei watch, the Asus Zen watch, not that many do. So you will definitely, definitely want to check with your device manufacturer um, if indeed yours does have one. If it does, you can dick trace it to your heart's content like you've been able to do on the Samsung Gear devices and the Apple Watch for ages, albeit not incredibly well. Anyway, I haven't tried that feature out, but definitely the gestures and the WhatsApp message sending and all that stuff with voice control works quite well. Finally, and weirdly, even though it's the most minimal improvement, it's my favorite, improved battery life. It's day one and I'm getting better battery life than I was yesterday with Lollipop. So if this continues to be the case, I will easily be able to eke out two days from my Moto 360 second generation and that will make me a very happy bunny. So that's been Marshmallow on Android Wear. If you've liked this video, click that like button. And if you like BTEC in general, like I said at the beginning, subscribe, consider it at the very least. It helps us out like a crazy and visit wearable.com spelled w-a-r-e they will have all the wearable info that you will probably need once you finish specking out your android wear watch with marshmallow thanks for watching